Welcome to a broadcast of the recent Lorain County Commissioner's General Meeting. Unless otherwise announced, meetings are held Wednesday morning at 9.30 at the Administration Building, 226 Middle Avenue, 4th Floor, Downtown Elyria. These are public meetings and you are invited to attend. Agendas are posted prior to the meeting at www.lorraincounty.us. Click on Departments to see the Commissioner's page, then click on View Agenda. Good morning. Can we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the November 29th meeting of the Lorain County Board of Commissioners. The word for the day is Proverbs 28, verses 21 and 22. Showing partiality is never good, yet some will do wrong for a mere piece of bread. Greedy people try to get rich quick, but don't realize they are headed for poverty. No dog this morning. I don't know what happened. So uh, we're just going to go ahead on to our agenda. And a resolution is number one, investments. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Pale. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Preparations. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Transfers. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. No advances and no tr um, repayment. Do you want to do the dog now? Well, let's just finish this section and okay. we'll go to the Requisitions. Dog. So moved. Second. Discussion. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Travel. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Bills. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Put Tim to it. Yeah, Probably Tim, would you dog. like to do the dog for us this morning? Okay, this is uh, kennel number 14, male, about two to three years old, found in Lorraine. Uh, he's up for adoption today. We have 27 other dogs in there, so uh, come on down and see us. <laughs> Is there anything else look I need? Look how cute. Good looking dog. Yeah, boxer. I guess that's it. Sorry, sorry I was late. That's, that's okay. okay. Yeah, I have the personal summary sheet with nothing on it. So, do you okay. want it even blank, or no? You just said okay. it if you want. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, nine. Approving away the reading of the commissioner's minutes of November eighth and fifteenth. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Authorized county to approve the issuance of hospital facilities revenue bonds of a County of Allen, Ohio, authorizing termination of certain sublease and certain agreements of lease with Mercy Health and its affiliates in connection with the payment in full of all bonds issued by the County of Lorraine, Ohio for the benefit of Mercy Health and its affiliates, authorizing other documents in connection with the issuance of such bonds and such terminations. So moved. Second. Discussion. I believe they're here if you want to. Any Did others? You? Did you want to comment? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this morning, the Port Authority, uh, County Port Authority, conducted a public TEFRA hearing for the possible issuance of the Allen County bonds. And we concluded that meeting shortly beforehand. And the Port Authority would make a recommendation to the commissioners that they consider this more fully. And so we have rest representatives from Dinsmore Joel and Mercy as well to discuss what the terms of the issuance are so that you can understand what's uh, before you. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Diana Vieson. I'm from Dinsmore and Shoal, and we're acting as bond counsel for this transaction. Um, the public hearing was held this morning by the Port Authority, and these bonds would be issued in a maximum principal amount of $850 million pursuant to Chapter 140 of the Ohio Revised Code by the County of Allen, Ohio. The County of Lorraine is a, um, a, is 
part of a cooperative agreement between Allen County and Lorain County, among other several other counties in Ohio as well. It's called a Participating Public Hospital Agencies Agreement under Chapter 140, which allows for Allen County to act as the issuer of the bonds and the proceeds of those bonds to be spent in the several counties that are parties to that agreement and which approve the issuance of those bonds. And that agreement has been in place since 2008, and you've been a party since, since that date. And these bonds, if once issued, the proceeds of them would be made available to Mercy Health, a nonprofit corporation, and its other nonprofit affiliates in order to refund bonds previously issued by both the County of Lorain, Ohio, and Allen County, Ohio, and also to fund routine capital expenditures of Mercy Health at its, at its facilities across several counties in Ohio. It's important to note that no taxpayer dollars are pledged or used to pay back these bonds. The bonds are backed solely by the revenues of Mercy Health. The bonds do not constitute the debt or general obligations of Lorain County or of Allen County, and the issuance of these bonds does in no way affect the ability of Lorain County to issue debt for its own purposes. And we do have a representative of Mercy Health in attendance as well. Bernie Smith is here if you have any questions uh, regarding the financing. Wonderful. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Authorized payment of $1,000 to Boyer and Cool, home for funerals, Lorraine for indigent veteran Howard W. Cooley, Lorraine in accordance with the ORC 5901.25. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Joining Prosecutor Attorney of Lorraine County regarding the appointment of outside counsel pursuant to Section 309.09 and 305.14 of the ORC, filing a civil complaint against manufacturers and distributors of prescription opiates. So moved. Second. Discussion. Yeah, I would just like to um, thank my colleagues for all their work on this, also the, uh, the county prosecutor. Um, we took a lot of time, did a lot of research, received a lot of proposals, and uh, obviously uh, uh, the opioid mm -hmm. epidemic has hit this county very hard. Um, you've seen throughout the past couple months uh, a lot of counties, a lot of cities coming forward. Uh, to enter into litigation against the manufacturers and the distributors. Uh, you know, it reminds me of when uh, uh, members of the tobacco industry stood in front of Congress under oath and said that uh, nicotine was not addictive. And unfortunately, uh, the opioids that have been manufactured and distributed um, are addictive. and. Clearly, uh, the manufacturers were uh, misleading in their representation, uh, misrepresenting the addiction risk, also uh, deceptively uh, presenting that the risks and benefits of opioids uh, to make them appear safer. Uh, those are issues that obviously will be brought up in the litigation. Uh, the defendants uh, were fraudulent and deceptive in their marketing of the opioids which has uh, directly caused harm to Lorain County, its families. Uh, the increased opioid use obviously has led to an increase in opioid abuse, addiction, and death. Uh, the increased opioid use has increased costs related to addiction treatment. And as we all know, the increased opioid use has fueled an illegal secondary market for narcotics and the criminals who support it. Uh, this has created a, a great financial strain on the county, and more importantly, it's caused tremendous harm uh, to our families and our community, and uh, we want accountability, and that's why we're taking this action here today. Ms. Kowski? Aye. Mr. Kalo? Aye. Mr. Lundy? Aye. Under Job and Family, authorized interagency agreement with Lorraine County Children's Services for Child Welfare Services using, using Title 20 TANF transfer federal block grant funds in the amount of 500000 effective retroactive from October 1st, 2016 through September 30, 2017, and authorized director to execute on behalf of the Board of Prosecutors approval as to find. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Resolving pursuant to 51019682 inter-county adjustment of allocations of administrative code Publicized by the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services in the amount of 400000 authorized director to execute on behalf of the board, ODJFS Bureau of County Finance will oversee and approve only this 2017 adjustment, effective through December 31st, 2017. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. 
Amend various resolutions funding Title 20 Social Service Black Grant for fiscal year 17 and authorize Director to execute on behalf of the Board of Prosecutors approval as to form. One, Resolution 16535, adopt August 24, 2016. Neighborhood Alliance Laria increased Title 20 transfer funds of $124,517.37, which will be available from October 1, 2016 through September 30, 2017. Resolution 16518 adopted August 17, 2017. Lorain County Safe Harbor Lorain increased Title 20 base funds by $215,017.99, which will be available from October 1, 2016 through September 30, 2017. And then increased Title 20 transfer funds by $15,118.02, which are available October 1, 2016 through September 30, 2017. And Resolution 16518 adopted August 17, 2017. Voluntary Guardianship Program of Lorain County increased Title 20 base funds by $8,698.20, which will be available October 1, 2016 through September 30, 2017. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kasky. Aye. Mr. Kayla. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Authorized Maintenance and Support Service Agreement. CGI Technologies and Solutions Inc. in the amount of $130,047 for supportive applications, software, and software updates of the document imaging department effective January 1, 2018 through December 31, 2018, and authorized director to execute on behalf of the Board of Pros Prosecutors approval as to form. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Caleb? Aye. Mr. Lynch. <coughs> Aye. Adult probation approved grant agreement in the amount of $210,003 with Ohio Department of Rehab and Correction, Division of Parole and Community Services, Bureau of Community Sanctions for Justice Reinvestment and Incentive Grant funding. So moved. Second. Discussion. Beth, did you have any comments sir, on this? Morning. Good morning, Beth. Um, this is a relatively new grant that um, isn't really all that new. It is very similar to the PIG grant, the Probation Improvement and Incentive Grant that we've been receiving since 2013. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe with the TCAP legislation, this is just another way for the DRC to fund our programs, but they've kind of amended our goals. Um, so it's similar, but it's not. Um, and we did get a slight increase for the next 19 months on uh, the amount that we typically receive. So this will just enhance community supervision again in Lorain County. Geared more towards treatment then or no? It, well, actually it funds the recovery court. So very okay. much there's a lot of, you know, things within this grant that support recovery and treatment services. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Ms. Kasky. Aye. Mr. Kayla. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Under the engineer award contract to Alberta. Alberta Construction Akron in the amount of two million two hundred ninety five thousand nine hundred nineteen dollars and seventy cents for <coughs> LOR three oh one seven point two five, which is State Route three oh one winding, Village of LaGrange. Eleven bids were received, this being the most responsive, complying with specifications. Engineers estimate was two million four hundred ninety eight thousand four hundred sixty one dollars and fifteen cents, which will be paid by NOAC of two million fifty nine thousand nine hundred nineteen dollars and seventy cents. An OPWC 400,000 balance paid by Village Lagrain. Issue notice to proceed on before <coughs> January 2nd, 2018, and complete on before December 15, 2018. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kayla. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Med Resolution 1787 adopted February 1st, 2017, awarding contract to CTL Engineering for Construction Engineering Services associated with LOCR 32204. For Middle Ridge Road widening and resurfacing project. Amendment is to reflect the payment of $7,254.60 from account engineer project due to the split of the Federal Highway Administration OPWC. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Under the Sheriff, renewed technology support and maintenance agreement with Cortec, Kentucky for correctional EHR in the amount of $6,600. Effective December 1st, 2017 through November 30th, 2018, and paid from the software account. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Approve and enter an agreement with MCPs to enhance security, monitoring, and ability to manage the computer system and serves in the amount of 16200 per year. So moved. Second. Discussion. Ms. 
Zukowski. Aye. Mr. Kaler. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Approve and enter in a psychiatric services agreement with Dr. Ahmed, effective December 1st, 2017 through November 30th, 2020, at a rate of $172.20 per hour in bi weekly increments with 30 day cancellation clause. So moved. Second. Discussion? Ms. Kowski? Aye. Mr. Kalo? Aye. Mr. Lundy? Aye. Under the Treasurer, enter in deposit of public funds bridge agreement with Huntington National Bank for the deposit of public funds in actually see $225 mm -hmm. million, effective December 1st, 2017 through August 22nd, 2021. So moved. Second. Discussion? Ms. Kowski? Aye. Mr. Kalo? Aye. Mr. Lundy? Aye. Mr. Annis? Uh, I do have one matter that perhaps we should discuss some discovery issues. So if we could just have a very brief executive session, um, we'll get through that in a few minutes. Okay. Commissioner's report. Uh, well, the Friday before last, I went to the Second Harvest Food Bank and helped pack 150 boxes of food for seniors in our community. Uh, they're helping to feed people all through the year and have a well, very well-run organization. Who's Christmas phone music. ringing? Oh, okay. <laughs> in a courtroom, they take your phone. Yeah. <laughs> your phone well, after that, um, I attended NOACA's 208 plan at the Carlisle's Vis Visitor Center, and it was very well attended by just about every jurisdiction. Uh, they're wanting to redraw some of the lines for the facility planning areas to better serve our community. Uh, so I do have a packet here. It's um, the agenda, the PowerPoint, and all the uh, maps of each jurisdiction where they are seeing the most problems. So I'll give that to the clerk, and she can put it in the board business for next week. Anybody wants to take a look at that. Um, Monday, I attended Judge Walther's Veterans Treatment Court, where he had one graduate this, uh, this time. Uh, this graduate was the 14th veteran to graduate from the treatment court uh, since it began. And then two, uh, Tuesday, the three of us met the engineer's office at the town and uh, one of the township trustees to view parcels of land where we need to vacate a road in Leary Township, which will be used for retention through our stormwater district. And then after that, I met up with uh, Brandy Schnell up in the uh, solid waste department to judge our photo contest for recycling. We had quite a few to pick from, not as much as the coloring contest. Not as much participation, but um, so we did that. And then Thursday was Thanksgiving, so I hopefully everybody enjoyed their time with their family and a few extra days off. And then yesterday we had our Freeland Ditch hearing. Only had two residents that showed up uh, with some questions, but we did approve that, and it's going to be moved forward, and uh, that ditch will be done hopefully at the beginning of next year. Other than that, no my report. Uh, well, Commissioner Kelsey covered a lot of things that we did together also. Uh, Congratulations on uh, the folks from running on our Winter Wonder Fest. Great kickoff to the holiday season. Hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving and congratulations to the Avon football team. Great job to yeah. the run up right to yeah. the end, made top four. Yeah. Uh, represented us very well and it's a tough team that will be coming back next year. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're very much alive. Yep. So, um, had the opportunity to attend the Lorain County Community College Wellington Center 10 year anniversary. Uh, presented accommodation there on behalf of the commissioners and uh, boy, what a great operation they have there. It certainly makes college more accessible uh, for those in the uh, southern part of our county to easily gain access to and that center has been growing and working out very well and Dr. Uh, Marsha Ballinger uh, said a few words and uh, Dr. Church was there as well too. Always good to see him but uh, LCC we just I can't tell you how lucky we are to, to have the college here. A lot of people may think there must be a community college in every county in Ohio, but there's not. Um, and we're really blessed to have it, and it's community supported too, so that makes it even more special. Um, enjoyed attending the Lorain County Township Association meeting in, in Carlisle. Uh, that was very well attended. Also, uh, there's been some ongoing discussions regarding uh, outreach. Uh, to uh, uh, families from Puerto Rico that are transitioning here to Lorain County. Uh, had a, a very productive meeting uh, with uh, Marcy Captor's office, El Centro, uh, Sacred Heart Parish, um, our Jobs and Family Services, our Workforce Development, uh, just a, a large group of individuals talking about how to help these families in their, in their transition. And we'll be having more follow-up discussions about that as well too so I missed the uh, veterans treatment court graduation because of being at that meeting but I'm glad that uh, 
we were representing. Also I've had the opportunity to meet with Representative Manning regarding the upcoming capital budget bill, see if there's some projects that maybe would uh, fit for that initiative coming up. Uh, certainly enjoyed Thanksgiving with family. Want to thank all those who volunteered to help uh, uh, feed the families in need. And then also I uh, would like to make everybody aware and invite everybody to attend the Lorain County Community Alliance meeting, which will be held in this room uh, this Friday uh, at 8.30 a.m. December 1st. And we will have a uh, legislative update. We have several representatives attending from uh, Columbus. Uh, also some representatives have been sent to represent some of the congressional members and Senate members from the federal level. They will be giving us an update and we're also going to have uh, one of the speakers who worked on a lot of the marijuana legislation since a lot of local governments are wondering what the impact of that is going to be on their communities uh, who will also be uh, speaking at the Lorain County Community Alliance. And then we'll be awarding a public service award, the Mike Whitmore Award, uh, to a uh, governmental leader here in Lorain County. And um, it's, it's an individual who I can tell you is very deserving of that award and that announcement will be made on Friday. Uh, and that completes my report. Board correspondence. I move the reading be waived. Second. Discussion. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Caleb. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Public comment. Anybody wishing to address the board this morning? Yes, come on, come on up. up. Just need your name and address, and you get three minutes. Yes, I know. Okay. Thank you. Teresa Shea, <clears throat> 519 East Avenue. I'm slow, you're fast, okay? <laughs> um, I have some disabilities, so I'm going to read this. Um, this, uh, as a private citizen, I came to talk to you. I was excited to hear about your meeting coming up on the 18th at the Transportation Center. And I did come last year to talk about the transit. I represent the poor people of Lorain County. Commissioners and fellow elected administrators, I am here today to speak about transportation in Lorain County. I feel very strongly that the bus service here is mandatory to the success of employment and quality of life in this county. I can now only speak to my dream of a real bus service system and have decided to begin anew and speak here for it's been over a year since I was here and spoke and then I found out about your new study in public event. From what the paper says, it sounds like a good, um, can't read my right. <laughs> A good idea, but you think its implementation depends on another pro property tax increase. You already raised the sales tax, and the schools and library in all area are um, have already taken up the margin of what a poor person can afford as property tax. Um, besides uh, what was recently passed, uh, you need to look at transit in a new way. People who are poor, like me, have either no transportation or a bad car. You cannot buy food without transportation. Unless you are able to walk well for miles, have no disabilities, you're not older elderly, and are immune to the weather. You ask such a high fare um, for poor people, uh, they won't be able to use the buses on a regular basis. Um, I'm at, at the other end of the extreme. $1.25 per ride is reasonable and there can be a 25 cent surcharge when using a transfer. People who are poor will ride more, especially with adequate routes and buses running every 30 minutes. Those who are not poor and have good cars will ride more often with a, a bus system with uh, dependable service and times and park their cars. You have to accept that the transit system is not a luxury but a living, breathing part of a, of a prosperous county. Um, County-wide service is a necessity so people can travel all over the county to shop, work, or go to school or doctors. You need to budget a larger amount of money and apply for transit grants and uh, subsidies. I don't know if that's the same. Uh, now that you have a study, it is more possible to get grants. If you came up with the money to redo the transportation center and the old courthouse, you can come up with a higher budget and grants to pay for a real transportation system. If you can help heroin addicts and give a fancy building to adult probation, 
you can fund the buses without property tax increases. This would show gratitude to those of us that already are paying out more than we can afford in sales tax and property tax. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else wishing to address the board this morning? Seeing none, I move that we go into executive session as requested by the assistant county prosecutor. Second. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Mr. Caleb. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. This has been a broadcast of the recent Lorain County Commissioner's General Meeting. Unless otherwise announced, meetings are held Wednesday morning at 9.30 at the Administration Building, 226 Middle Avenue, 4th Floor, Downtown Elyria. These are public meetings and you are invited to attend. Agendas are posted prior to the meeting at www.lorraincounty.us. Click on Departments to see the Commissioner's page. Then click on View Agenda for a printable copy of the agenda.